my gosh, look at all the cards. <gasps> All right, well today we are in Frederick, Maryland and we are on West Patrick Street and we're sitting outside the Goodwill and we're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Now, <laughs> disclaimer, there's a concert happening in there so just brace yourself. It's a little noisy but we'll get through it together. <laughs> Here we go. Goodness, it's phantom but it's broken. <laughs> It was real, a whole lot of excitement followed by extreme letdown. It was, it was close, but no cigar. Um, all right, let's see what else we can find. Here. Maybe we'll find actual Fenton that's not broken. Who knows? Look at this guy in the back. He's kind of fun. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. And he has a friend. Oh, they're cute. I'll take those. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't actually looking. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that one's damaged. You guys told me to keep my eyes peeled for this. Um, but all of his little flippers are damaged. This boxer is cross-eyed. We're going <laughs> to leave him there. <laughs> there's a giraffe back there. Cute Westie. Oh, there's a Pendleton in the box. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen one in the box. But even in the box, it's still chipped up. Go figure. Nesting ashtrays. Mist. Santa Anita wear, California. Ooh, fancy. Fancy, fancy. Okay. Oh, the big one has a chip. I just felt it on my hand. Oh, here's some more. Whoa. Always point you guys right at it. Oh, look, it's all chipped up. It's all chipped up. It's not even worth looking at. Okay. Keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Oh, they have. Oh my gosh, look at all the carts. Quick, what's on the cart? Let's go look. We'll come back to this. Oh my gosh, look at all the carts. <gasps> okay, I'm really not that excited, but it is exciting. <laughs> Ooh, I'm knocking to the artwork. All right, let's see what we got over here. Oh, look at that cool flower pot. My sister's not looking for a yellow flower pot, though. All right, so there's really not a whole lot of excitement in here. That was really not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go back to where we were looking. Spotted a fairy light. Looky here! It's stars and bars. Stars and bars? I'll take a stars and bars from the Goodwill. How quickly can we put it in our cart? Little stars and bars. Two vanity bottles, $6.49, and then down here we have a gorgeous piece, ooh, sorry, in my head I saw it falling, ah, a gorgeous piece of Italian pottery, right, Italian, $5.49, oh boy, this one here is Bristol. Um, which is old English glass, probably um, late 1800s, early 1900s. It's $6.49, but it's really, really worn. This is cute. The Nutty Bavarian. <laughs> That's cute. All right, um, I like that. It's Japanese. I have an oyster shell. Oh, a whole bucket of oyster shells for $8.49. <gasps> Bormiola, what? Oh. Shot glasses? Meh. I think that's, yeah, Pioneer Woman. <laughs> it's not a rolling pin, though. That is a neat looking fish. Got a crack on the side of his mouth. Stoneware, what is this one? Something pottery. There's some BBP that was glued back together. <laughs> All right. Wow, that was like some real excitement. There's a fairy light. Put it, oh my god. <laughs> Let's fix this fairy light so people know what it is. <laughs> In the sea of fairy lights. 
<laughs> oh boy. Yeah, look at them all. Holy smokes. That's a whole lot of fairy lights. I think those ones are made in Taiwan, maybe? Oh my gosh, look at them all. I don't think I've ever seen so many in one place. Two forty-nine each. Very clear. What does it say? It doesn't. Maybe I'll grab a few. I'm not gonna grab them all. I mean, they don't have a super high resale value because they're clear, but they're still pretty. I'll grab three. Leave the rest for other people. Probably like from a wedding or maybe a restaurant or something, I would guess. Make a little bit of money on those. All right, there we go, we grabbed three. This thing is weird, that was here last week. And what is this? That looks like it's from Nicaragua. Oh, it's from Yankee Candle. Two completely different places. Oh, what is that? I thought that was a Moravian tile. I'm like, that looks like no Moravian tile that I've ever seen. What kind of bowl is this? It is a made in China, not for food use. It will poison you bowl. I don't usually pick up the poison bowls. So funny, because I saw so many people grabbing this last week. <laughs> and yet it's still here on the, on the shelf. This is kind of funny. Apparently I left this here the other day. I had a huge box of China and um, <laughs> as a note, this is lamp lady. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know you have a reputation at the Goodwill when they're like, hey, Lamp Lady left this. I like that they left, I'm crazy though. You know, that means a lot to me. <laughs> Circling back over to the, <laughs> to our original um, figurines. Cause I kind of just sped right through here when I realized there were fresh cards. So let's get back to uh, the figurines, shall we? Kind of pretty. There's only one candlestick though, that's a shame. For a bunch of steins. There are just so many candle fins, but I think they're all tipped up. So it must be they used them and then stored them in the boxes. That's what I would assume happens. So I wandered back over here to the vessels and I found this. That's Mont Esalam Sal. I don't know how to pronounce that. I thought that was really pretty. I like the colors of that. So I'm going to stick that in here on top of those guys. And then this. That's black glass that's been not etched. It's kind of different and neat. So $3.49. Makes for a nice decorative piece. I like the, um, the design of that one. So I'm going to try to turn that over and get a better look at it. Ooh, maybe just a modern contemporary piece sold at like Target or something so it has its original price tag on there okay well I think that's maybe it for us I feel satisfied oh look ah, there's its friend was that it? I think that might be it <laughs> I think it's just the two I almost left this friend behind glad we came over here to the holiday section so we could experience this Easter rabbit together. <laughs> oh boy. That is a, um, a cooking pan. Alright. I figured I'd take a peek and see if there was any Easter, but that really seems to be the only Easter here. That is it for me at this Goodwill, and I'm going to continue to the next one. I'm going to look back at you guys in the car with the total, and then uh, we'll continue this adventure at the next one. I may have spoke too soon. Ugh, it's too far gone, I think. Never mind. Ooh, there's more up here though. There's a set of Cinderella mixing bowls. Just a plain one. This set. 
It's not super popular, but it's in good condition, so I'll grab that. What? Heck yeah. <laughs> I don't think this was there earlier. <laughs> it was right down there. I literally bent down and I looked at those lemon, those lemons down there. And I don't think this was here because I feel like I would have zeroed in on this. I think this might be Blanco. I'm not 100% positive on that, but my goodness. Okay, so maybe we're not leaving yet. I was like, all right, let's go. And now I'm like, mm, maybe not. Let's just make sure that we've seen it before we uh, take off. Because now I'm like, there's more on the shelves. <laughs> there's stuff that I missed. That has a really nice polished base to it. It could be something special, but... Oh, no. Clear glass, I'm always on the fence about. It really has to wow me, even if it is polished space. And I don't know, that etched floral design just isn't really all that exciting, so. Unfortunately, it stays. Ooh, we have a wedding box in the back. But we don't have a lid for a wedding box. That's a shame. I guess I'll set it back where I found it. Pretty. Hand painted plates. Oh, Yankee Candle. I would not have guessed that. <laughs> I don't know what I could do with that. I think it's made for a candle to sit on. I'm curious about this dish right here. If this is art pottery or something else. Ooh, it feels like, yeah, it is art pottery. See, um, I like that design. $9.49. Yeah, I think I'll snatch that up. We'll stick that in here with the rest of our loot. <laughs> All right. Goodness gracious, we've got quite a bit of stuff. Okay, well since we had such good luck today in the hard goods, I figured I would at least swing through the lamps and see if we have any luck here. But I'm not really seeing anything. <laughs> so there's a lot of brass lamps over here. A lot of ceramic ginger, ginger, jar style lamps. I mean, I don't really think those are popular right now. At least I'm not attracted to them. So I just don't think that there's really a whole lot going on there. Just aesthetically, I'm like, Ugh, not really my thing. Okay. Here is a really tall glass vase, polished top. I don't know if that would have been a florist vase. I don't know. It's kind of weird. $6.49. I like it, but I would have liked it more if I had like a swan glass top. What do we have here? Because it looks cool. <laughs> Doesn't look like anything that's coming home with me, but look at this. $24.49. This is somebody's creation. Like a colonial dollhouse. I wonder if they actually, no, they didn't finish it. That's really neat though. That looks like it was a fun project. I'm going to head up towards the checkout and I will get back to you guys in the car with my Toto. Because we got quite a few things today and I think it's going to be a little spendy. Well, our total spend there at the West Patrick Street Goodwill today was $85. And I feel like that was a good trip to Goodwill. It was really exciting there when we first got there. <laughs> and it was like the salt and pepper shakers. I mean, the Fenton was a little bit of a letdown. Um, but then, the vanity bottles and that Italian um, flower pot and everything else. I mean, that was amazing. That was a good trip. We even got stars and bars fairy light. So, yeah, that was exciting. Today's been a good day of thrifting. Um, I mean, obviously, you guys aren't seeing the videos in sequential order, but today for me has been a good day. And this is my fourth stop. I have one more to go. I usually hit up five Goodwills in one day. So let's go check it out and see what we can find. That's kind of pretty, but it has a chip on it. What are those? Made in Greece. All right. There's a juicer. That's kind of neat. Oh, look at those lamps. Those are so cute. Those are vintage. Let's get those out of there. Oh my gosh, I love them. <laughs> like you don't need lamps. <laughs> ah. Oh, those are adorable though. So 
is absolutely gorgeous for $14.49. Made in China, Bombay Company, originally $75. There is some splitting here on the edge. But oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I think I'll take that for $14.49. It's a booth piece if I ever saw one. I just found a flower pot. <laughs> it's, I don't think it's as big as my sister had envisioned, but it is a bluish flower pot, and I think I'm gonna grab it for her. $6.49, we'll see. And I also spotted this, and I pick these up every time I find them because when I needed one, I couldn't find one online. And these are the Yankee Candle um, Wax Melt Holdy Thingies. So I grabbed that. Ooh, what does it say? Does that say sterling? It looks like sterling. It says 835, so I don't know if that means like coin silver maybe? I'm not sure. Just checking down here. All right, I think I'm gonna grab this. It's a cute little bud vase, regardless of whether or not it's silver or not. And I think that's it for us. This is a small little haul. Here is pretty fancy. I think it's just decorative. I mean, obviously. Oh, it, I thought it was a fish. Eh, it's an acorn. I'm not as excited about an acorn as I thought about a fish. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I think that's it for me. Well, my total spend there at Middletown today was a whopping $27. Um, and I got a really cool butterfly tray. It was originally $75. Um, I'll probably stick that in my booth. I don't want to ship that. Especially with that wonky edge. I feel like if I try to ship it, it might just fall right off. Um, so we'll put that in our booth with a little disclaimer that says, the edge is a little bit wonky or something to that effect. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to head home. Got a long ride home. Hour and 20 minutes. Um, but I will see all of you guys tomorrow. So long. Well. That video was just a little bit short. I wasn't expecting it to be that short, but I got to editing it and I was like, wow, that was short. Um, so I actually have some boxes back here. Let me show you. I mean, I've got lots of boxes back here, but um, this pile of boxes right here specifically, Andrew got uh, the last time he went to the Carroll County uh, flea market without me because the kids still had basketball and um, he bought a ton of glass from our friend Linda and he wanted to go through these boxes together but we haven't really been able to line up our schedules and get to the shop at the same time. So I'm going to take through one of these boxes with you guys. One of them. I called him. He's like, we were going to do that together. I'm like, dude, I got to go through one of these boxes. I got to go through just one of them. So I think we'll take the one from the top and we'll see what treasures we can find. So I'm actually going to take it over to that shelf that I cleared. Why not? It's a clear shelf. It's a flat surface that has been cleared and we must fill it up again. That was a joke, but I was serious. I'm going to put paper in here. Ooh, wow, look at that beauty. Now, I don't know what his total spend on this stuff was, but it looks like the price tags are still on there. 25 on this bad boy. That's gorgeous. Printing paper. I know you guys love it. This is really pretty. 32 on that looks like Fenton. Yep, Fenton. It's an inverted pattern of some sort. But I don't know it. Looks like it's the 100 year anniversary. There's something in there. Glowy shoe. Vintage Fenton shoe. 24. Those glow vibrant. Vibrant. I sold one a few months ago and they are just like <laughs> crazy. Crazy glowy. You know what? Those are, the people on Whatnot who just do specifically glowy glass sales. 
um because i guess glowy glass is a huge thing on whatnot so maybe i'll uh i'll save that one for whatnot so i can say that i sold a glowy glass on whatnot that's pretty that looks like murano see how controlled the bubbles are they're not like all haphazard all over the place thirty dollars on that this cranberry melon base more fenton 45 on that that one is signed by randy randy fenton told you it was a nice glass <laughs> in case you didn't believe me come on Ooh -wee. 40 dollars that pulled a feather obg um what is that one it's not Outer Banks glass, is it? I don't think so. Shoot, I don't know why it's not coming to me. I know it, I've sold it, I've bought it before. I don't know. But it's gorgeous, I love the pulled feathers. I know it'll come to me, I'll like, <laughs> it is Outer Banks, I don't know. I'll stop filming and I'll be like, oh, I know what it is. Ooh. Another glowy shoe. Wow, Fenton, fairy light. Fairy light, 49 on the fairy light. There's a pretty fairy light. Fantastic. See, Andy did a good job. I think all that's left to pull out is this picture. It almost has like a honeycomb. Oh, honeycomb, 1914 honeycomb. How much was it? 50 bucks. Wowzers. 265, and then that's crossed out. And it says 50. Wow, that's beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen that honeycomb before. I don't know if you can see that, but that's amazing. Gosh, I would love to have some matching glasses, but I'm pleased with that. So I think this is everything we had in the box. Wipe it around in the paper a minute. Okay, that was it. Now it's an empty. So we'll get all the paper back into the box. And uh, we've got a few more, three more to go. And maybe Andrew and I will be able to go through those together, but it was exciting. I told you there was some nice glass in there. I've been itching to go through it, so this was a good excuse. <laughs> but I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the Goodwill and going through this box with me. And I'll see you tomorrow. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.